In this video, we will discuss the problem, a special keyboard. Previously, this problem has been asked in Google. The problem says that you have to imagine that we have been given a special keyboard with all the keys in a single row. So basically what happens is in this problem, all the keys of a particular keyboard are lying in the same row and the keys, uh, the orientation of the keys is represented by the string S1. The size of this string is 26 because the size is 26 because there are total 26 characters and the, since this is a string, so the indexing will follow from 1 to 25, right? After this part, the problem says that initially your finger is standing at the index 0. Initially, your finger is standing at the index 0 and to type a word, you can move your finger to the index of the desired character. So let's suppose that if you have been given a keyboard of this type of layout, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So initially what is happening? Your initially, uh, your last destination initially is zero. So initially like you are standing at zero, right? After this part, like initially you are standing here and let's suppose that if you want to type D. So if you want to type D, so from here you will go to uh, go and type D. Suppose that after that you want to type G. So after that from D you will go to G. Suppose after G, you want to type, let's say you wanted to type uh, D, like D, G and then C. So after this from G, you will go to C, right? So this will happen. Now in this case, if you have to see how much distance you have traveled, so the distance will be nothing but you have to see like what was your previous position and what is the next position that you want to go to, right? So that's how you will calculate. So let's take this example. So initially what will happen? Let's uh, first of all give the index. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 and 6. So what will happen? Initially you have to think. Initially you have to think this way that initially if you are standing at a particular index, let's say you initially it is saying that your initial index, the last position that you are at, uh, initially the last position is 0. So that means that you are standing at the very first index, right? So in this case, if your last position is 0, suppose that you have to type D. So in that case, you have to go from uh, from this position to this position. So initially, initially what like uh, what will be the distance? The total distance like total, we will uh, have a variable to count the total. So the total will be what? You suppose that in a map, you are storing the indexes like for, for the character D, uh, it is at the index three and like this in a map. So in this case, what will happen? You will say that the total will be what? For this case, the total will be nothing but the destination that you want to go to, that is nothing but D. So the position of D in the map, so you'll say that uh, what is the position of the character D in the map minus minus what the last position that you were at. So that means nothing but uh, in this case you will see that D is standing at 3 and the last position was 0. So this will be the answer. Now after this part what will happen like you can say that whatever the current character is there that you want to have. After this part let's say that uh, let's say you have type D then let's say the like this is the string 2 let's say in this let's say you have to type G. So in that case what will happen you will update your last and you will say that lastly you were standing at 3 because you are standing here right. You are standing at D, so your last position will be D and now you want to go to G. So what is the position of G? So G's position is nothing but 6. So 6 minus 3, that is nothing but map of uh, map of uh, this character G. That is the position of G in the keyboard and uh, subtracting from that the absolute value. You can take this as an absolute value because uh, it is not necessary that you always go uh, towards the right side. You can go from backwards as well. We'll see this using a test case. So in this case, you will see that uh, here the answer will be what? 6 minus 3. And plus, let us say that from this G, you want to go to this E. So let us say that you want to go from G to E. So in that case, first of all, you will update your last position. So your last position will be not be 6, uh, will not be 3, it will now become 6. So your last position is 6 and you want to go to this fourth position. That is, you want to go Go to this character e suppose that you wanted to type after g you wanted to type e so in this case what will happen you have to move towards uh, two steps back so will you say that 4 minus 6 uh, that is minus 2 no you will not say this you have to uh, calculate the total absolute difference uh, distance that you have traveled so that's why what you will say is that absolute of the the, the position of g in the original keyboard uh, in the keyboard layout so position of uh, position of e in the keyboard layout is 4 minus the last position that you are at so that means this uh, 4 minus 6 and absolute will be 2 so in this case you can see here it was coming out to be 3 here it came out to be 3 then it came out to be 2 so the total answer would be 8 for this and that is how you will calculate the distance so let us try and implement this code using the map approach so what you will be first of all doing is you will be declaring a map you will be declaring a map that will consist of the characters you will say that map of char uh, comma int because for a particular character you will be storing at which index it is at right after this part you will say that int uh, like in uh, let's say int last position 
uh, the last position that you were at initially you will mark at zero because it is saying that your finger is initially standing at the index zero then what you will have is you will have a total variable and that you can initialize at uh, as zero because initially the sum is zero after this part what you will do is you will iterate through the first string that is the keyboard layout you will iterate through the keyboard layout that is uh, the first string and what you will do is you will store the position of each and every character in the particular map and once you have stored it so what you will do is you will simply say that in the map i will be storing it so what you will say is that uh, i is lesser than s1 dot size and then i plus plus once once you have stored this thing once you have stored this thing that is nothing but uh, the all the position of the characters in the map like this you will say that what map of s1 of uh, s1 of i is equal to i so at which position it is standing right at which position it is standing first of all you will store this thing and once you have stored this thing so what you will be doing is once this part is stored that in uh, at which position the particular character is standing in the in the keyboard layout after this part what you will say is that uh, you will say that what is the uh, what is the last character right you will you will have to see that the total answer is zero but you need to run a loop for for iterating that uh, okay the string that i want to want to make the characters that i want to type in the keyboard what is that so first of all you will be iterating through this string and what you will say is that your last position was what last position was this so you will say that the total will be what total plus is equal to total plus is equal to what is the current current that you have to calculate uh, so current will be nothing but absolute of what uh, if the current character that is this so current character uh, position in the map will be map of s2 of i minus the last position that you were at okay so that's how you will calculate the uh, the current addition the current distance that you have to travel will be calculated by absolute of map of s2 of i minus the last uh, minus the last position that you were at and you will see that the last position now will get updated to the current position of uh, of the ith character so you will say that the last position is equal to nothing but map of s2 of i after this part is done so what you will do is you can simply say that you will return the total because the total will tell you that what is the total distance that you have traveled so let us try and compile this code to see if there is any errors so we are getting a compilation error it is saying that s2 dot size okay so i need to write it like this uh, is there any other error so it is saying that last was not declared okay i should declare la it as last position not last but last position last underscore position because i am updating uh, last positions right so let us try and compile now you can see that it is uh, getting uh, working on the sample test case let us try and submit this code So it was able to pass all the test cases. Now in this approach, what you can observe is that we were able to do it in order of in uh, traversal, like in just one traversal, we were able to solve this, but we are taking what we are taking order of in extra space, right? We are taking order of in extra space. So how do, how do we, how do we check that? How do we keep a check on this extra space? How do we reduce the map, right? How do we eliminate the concept of map? So what we can basically do is let's suppose that we have been given the keyboard layout as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Like this. And uh, like, let me make it. So let's say it has been given like this. So what you can do is let's say the indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So in this case, what we can observe is, let's suppose that the second string that has been given to us is, let's say D, G and E. So how can we do this? So another way of doing it is that what we do is like, let's suppose that this character D is there, right? So one thing is for sure that we want to see that what was the last position. We will, we will always want to store the last position that we were at. Okay. We will always want that. Okay. What was the last position or the last character that we were at? We'll always want to store the last position. But one more thing that is there is that if like we can keep a track of the last position, so initially the last position will be zero. And what we can say is that we are currently at this character D. So if we are at this character D, so what we can do is we can try to find out, we can use the find function in the string and we will, we can say that what is the current position of D in the, in this particular string S1, because that is the keyboard layout. So D is at the position C3. So we'll say that answer plus is equal to nothing, but we'll say that total plus is equal to nothing but absolute of absolute of s1 dot find uh, s1 dot find like what is whatever is the index of uh, d in this particular string we can directly find using the so find function in the string so that's nothing but 3 minus 0 after this part what we can say is that we'll update our last two three because the the, the position of d will now be a new position so what we will uh, what we will be doing in this case is we will simply say that now since we have uh, since we have its index so we can simply say that uh, in this part 
we can simply say that now the last position was 3 and the current character g is there so g is at the index number 5 so we will say that okay absolute of 5 minus 3 that's going to give us 2 after this part what we can say is that uh, now next up we have the character we have the last position updated to 5 and let us suppose that we want to type for e so if we like uh, in this case we can say that the this will be 6 the position the last position will be 6 because g is standing at the index 6 then what we will do is we will say that okay the last position is 6 uh, so absolute of uh, the current position uh, the current uh, new position that i want to go to so that is nothing but 4 so 4 minus 6 absolute value if i'll take so that will come out to be 2 so that is nothing but 3 plus 3 plus 2 and this will come out to be 8 so that is how we are trying to find uh, find the uh, distance so what we can do is we can use the s1 uh, like str uh, find function in this string to do this in an efficient manner without using the extra space complexity so what we can do is we can first of all have the we can say that int the total that we'll have total will be initialized to zero and we can say that last position uh, initially will be zero because initially it is saying that we are standing at the zeroth position then what we will do is we'll iterate and we'll say that int i starts from zero i is lesser than s2 dot size because we want to iterate through this second string and in this string what we will be doing is we will say that what is the current position so let us say that what is the what is the current uh, current position that we are at so the current position that we want to be at in the like we want to find the uh, current position of the current character of the second string that we want to type in the first string so in the keyboard layout so we will say that s1 dot find s2 of i s2 of i so we will basically find the uh, position of the current character that we want to type in the keyboard layout that that is how we are eliminating the map and then what we will say is that total plus is equal to nothing but what absolute of the current position that we are at minus the last position minus the last position and after this part is done so we will say that our last position needs to get updated to the current position right so this is what we will do and in the end we can say that we will simply return the total right so this is how we will be doing first of all you uh, calculate that okay what is the current position that you want to go to and after you have calculated that okay this is the current position that i want to go to then the total will be what absolute of the current position that you want to go to minus the last position that you were at that will that is the distance absolute distance that you will be traveling and you, then you update your last position to the current position let us try and compile this code to see if there is any compilation errors so you can see we are getting the same expected output let us submit this code as well So we were able to pass all the test cases. So there are two approaches for this problem. First approach is using a map that increases the space complexity. Otherwise, if you want to do, so what you can do is if you want to eliminate the map, so map was storing what map was storing the indexes of all the characters in the keyboard layout. And if you want to eliminate that, so you can basically use the find function to do this without space complexity. Thank you for watching this video.